Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Monday Mayhem Wrap-Up, where absolutely nothing is out of the usual. We are back. It's been a few weeks. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studio. And with me is the only Mayhemmer with a future Endeavor letter from the uh, WWE. He is Mad Mike. We're really glad that you're our friend. Yeah. This is a segment that will never, ever end. And then also... Where's Will? <laughs> also with us is Nick. Will! Uh, no, why don't you <laughs> starting to get dizzy. Where's Will? This is, are you all right, Nick? Will. Why, why are you dizzy. looking like... Wait, 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 wait. What's happening Where's here? Where's Lunchbox? Oh, this has been upside down the whole time. Hold on. Let's flip Will. this one. The entire time. Hold on. Let me just flip this out and uh, whoop. There we go. God. Oh, There you go. God. You feel so better? better? You feel better about that? Oh, you have to warn me when you're doing that. All that. <laughs> all, I know. All that blood <laughs> rushes to your head. Oh. Hold on. Man. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Hold on. I'll just shake you up a little bit. Uh, Hold on a second. Let go. Whoop. Uh, all right. All right. Now let the blood rush to your head. And then we're just going to go push a whoop. Are there two words going through your head right there now? There you go. Oh, man. I, I'm discombobulated. It, 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 well, that's that's usually how we feel after three hours of Monday Night Raw. Uh, but anyways, so um, it's been a little bit. I Guys, I went on vacation last week and did no wrestling anything. Good. No, didn't watch any wrestling. Uh, 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 for for my time down in Myrtle Beach, didn't find much wrestling. I did find one of those bullshit like ticking ticket po- plinko machines uh, uh, on the boardwalk at an arcade. Like that was like the extent of my wrestlingness I, uh, for most of the trip, basically. Uh, so it was a, it was a good just 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 let everything just reset. Okay. And we are back. We are energized and completely ready to watch wrestling. And I mean, maybe some of us are. Some of us well, can't. Maybe- break from wrestling sork well yeah i mean that's, that's, that's true that's true some of us you know they just watch it like it's our jobs but... I, I went i went to wrestling you did went to wrestling i went to <laughs> i went to a wrestle you went to a wrestle you went to madison square garden uh last month i got sorg I, i'm not gonna lie i enjoyed my time at madison square garden mm-hmm. i could have left after the first match oh no 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 happy yes i could have left happy after the first match it was Dana Brooke and Sarah Logan versus the Iconics. Oh, jeez. That's yeah. awesome. I, yeah. I could have left a happy man after that. I was like, oh, this is great. And it was fun. That's the whole good. show was a good time. Good. No, it was. It, it was that. I, I did I did watch. I'm like, you know, I actually ended up watching most of like Raw while I was setting up for Fight Society um, streaming on uh, on Friday uh, and, and wrapped that up, uh, I think, Sunday morning before the pay-per-view. Um, so it, it was, it, it, and even watching it afterwards, like it, everything felt like, you know, it was that massive square garden vibe. It was like, you know, yeah. I remember the time that we went for Royal rumble all those years ago and it was yeah. just like, man, this like, it was, it was something special and cool. And it, it was, it was good to have them back. And I'm glad that new Japan scared the pants off of them to come back this year. Mm-hmm. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, uh, other than that, I mean, uh, uh, my, my good this weekend, a lot of good wrestling, a lot of fun with, uh, fight society and, uh, prospect pro wrestling over the weekend. Uh, both of those available indie wrestling dot us and indie wrestling network. Uh, so, um, go check all that out. <laughs> Ronnie Starks is in the chat. He had a very good weekend as well. Oh, he boy. is going to oh, be, oh, I understand why? he will, he will be joining us. We're going to have a special Wednesday night edition of the wrestling mayhem show, which I think we are confirmed. Like we got at least two of the hosts agreed to our, a 10 PM start time because it's a uh, NXT, uh, debut oh night. yeah, we have to accommodate Ronnie now. Wait, we have to accommodate Mr. Ronnie, Mr. Big Belt. Mr. Hashtag Ronnie Two Belts. Ronnie Two Belts. That's right. Uh, Hashtag so still a jobber. He will still be a podcast jobber. So a po- that's a little bit hard. Wow, <laughs> wow. You know what? He may have been in the wrestling game as long as you've been in the podcast game. Guess what? He's in my world now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> if I step to the ring. 
I'd expect him to treat me exactly the same way I treat him on this show. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this needs to happen. When are you coming to town oh, again? No, I'm, I'm never stepping in a ring. <laughs> Can we arrange <laughs> for you to come down? The <laughs> only person he, I he does step in a ring with because I have been formally challenged years ago is Ray Rowe, and it's only for a Mr. champion. Mr. Ray Rowe, whatever your name is this week. Yes, Mr. Eric Row 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 your Viking boat ashore. <laughs> Speaking of which, they had a lot of fun tonight. They had a six man tag uh, with the OC, and uh, uh, the, I I just like it feels like it feels like Viking. Wait, where Viking uh, Raiders? Viking Spurs? Raiders. Like, where are they now? I can't even remember what they are. Viking Raiders. You're right. Um, you know, had some fun with Cedric. Hey, fun mayhem uh, trivia fact: uh, Ray Rowe and Cedric Alexander were on a one episode together of the indie mayhem show back in the day really? <laughs> that's like, funny and they, they tag team tonight so that was kind of a cool little connection that was like a, like a indie so mayhem I, homecoming it was a little bit a little bit yeah. hansen we've never had an t- opportunity to talk with hansen i filmed the hansen match once hmm. for new so did uh, he sing umbop he didn't mm, mm-hmm. okay so you're more of a where's the love guy got it yeah okay Anyways, um, no, that was fun. I, I, I was it. What was it, was it? Nick, was it you or, or Aaron tonight? Um, or I'm sorry, Larry tonight. That uh, okay, babe. Uh, <laughs> the podcast. Where's K-fabe. Will? <laughs> Where's Will? Oh, wait, we're not doing that. No, anymore. we're not doing that anymore. We, we're not. We're not. We're I'm not, not hitting the flippy today. button again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep the flippy button in here for tomorrow night's show. Actually, yeah. Wednesday. Anyways, for okay. Wednesday night, Wednesday yeah. night show. I'm up. doing a different you podcast. Have to accommodate Big Ronnie Two Belts. If I have to, f- if, if I flip, if I do the flip button on tomorrow's show that we're doing, that's going to be a problem because it's a client podcast. But anyways, <laughs> that, that, that would not be that, <laughs> that would not, be not be good for the subject matter. But anyway, not be good. Um, uh, what are we raw? What, so somebody, somebody mentioned about like, hey. This has been a long raw, but I think in a good way. Oh yeah, that was that was, that was me. That was you. Um, it, oh, wait, let, let, let Nick. No, 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 yeah. no. Go ahead, go ahead. I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I, I've gotten myself to, like it's. It's like you have those certain episodes where you're just halfway through. You're just kind of like, okay, like is it over yet? And tonight mm-hmm. it's like, wait, hold on. I'm looking at my phone and it's nine thirty, and you're halfway through, and I'm, I'm like, feeling good about it. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Bray Wyatt definitely helped with that along the way. Mm-hmm. I, the fact that they like, I was on my way here and I pulled raw up on my phone and I'm watching it. Like as I'm driving, don't, don't watch and drive. Kids. No, don't watch. Drive. No, no. Um, but I'm like on my way. And like th- the fact that he started the show with Seth, like just, I'm, I'm smiling ear to ear the entire way here. It's the best thing they've done in so long. It was, we were watching the beginning of it, um, in the, in the line at the grocery store across the street. Uh, <laughs> But got here before uh, people started coming down to the ring, and and they were doing some fun stuff with that. Um, no, I, I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying this faction stuff. I'm glad Bobby Robert Rude um, is is Robert. involved. Robert, Bob, Robert Rude. No, yeah. that's Bobby F J Towns thing. No, I can't I can't take that away from him. Yet. Come on. All right. Um, <laughs> but anyways, uh, no, that was good. The the threat of of Bray all night. Yes. Can we talk about Bray Wyatt in the Funhouse and? And just like your kid is not sleeping, Carlin's is uh, for a week because you can't c- couldn't get around it. Um, <laughs> so holy stepping on the gas with Bray Wyatt uh, tonight. But but he has to win. No, he doesn't. Yes, no, he, he doesn't. does. No, he oh, yeah. Sork, if he doesn't, he's literally right back where he was. Yeah, I kind of think it he has his to credibility. Win. He has to win. He has to win. Because if he doesn't win at Hell in a Cell, this has all been for absolutely nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because the biggest problem we always had with Bray Wyatt was he'd get in these big feuds. He'd have really good moments. He used a fucking holographic projector of a small child for fuck's sake. Wait, when was Wait, that? When did that what was that? Yes, that's a real thing that happened. What was what was that? It, it was inside Hell in a Cell. Okay. It was either against Dean or John Cena. There was a holographic projector of a small child saying he's got the whole world in his oh, hands. Oh, yeah. I remember that. That was yeah. John Cena. You want to know why you don't remember that? Because he lost. Because he lost every single 
fucking feud he was in. Mm. Well, he's always had that yeah. creepy factor, but like I think yeah. now it's just but what if what if this Doesn't is matter. the time? No, he has to win. What he if to win he the title. gets screwed? Doesn't matter. No. What has if Finn to, Balor? Sorg, Sorg, no, Sorg, he has to win the title because otherwise this is all for absolutely nothing. Mm. Yeah, but then does that play into him versus Finn? It doesn't matter if Finn costs him the championship. Yes, it, uh, it doesn't matter. I don't think that. I don't, in, my, I don't, in my eyes, it doesn't matter. I don't think it, that that could work that way with him. If Finn costs Bray the title, I'm sorry, everything's done. Mm -hmm. I don't like. I I, I can't see the, oh, yeah, the character if, if, bouncing yeah, back. Yeah, but, if, if Finn costs him the title, it's it's over. But if Bray wins the title, and then Finn Balor comes out. Oh yeah, that's perfect. It that's starts a new feud, and it's Demon mm -hmm. versus Fiend. Yes, that's for absolutely for the works. titles. For the titles, yes. Yeah, that's absolutely that, fine. I hope that's where we go with. Yes, because uh, I love or, Seth, but we got to mix it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Or we could have the Undertaker. I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that could work. <laughs> we got it. We got it. We got some kind of rumble in the desert coming up, so maybe. I was gonna um, say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So there's some redemption there. It seems like everything since the last one is just be like, hey Taker, let's we, but, we okay. I know. Sorry. Here, go go to right. Slam so Sammy. We're, so we're all in agreement. Bray has to win a Hell in a Cell. Or are I don't you think not? Sork's there. I'm not. I'm not okay. there. I'm not there. But I never believed in that kind of stuff. So I want as long as a good story coming out or of it. You forgot he used a holographic projector. Okay, he's done a lot because of he because, lost. but he because, did that with the worms too. Be, yeah, because we had the WrestleMania worms incident. Guess what? He lost that, that match too. Mm. He's lost every major feud he's been in. I think they finally came to a point where they know. Well, I mean, he has almost complete control over his own character at this point. I I'm, think they know what to do. You would with think, him. but why? Well, I, I think no, no, no. I think Paul Heyman's driving that, driving that really yeah, fucked up go kart. What? Yeah, but, <laughs> but but he hasn't had. He's only had one match. Mm -hmm. It's it's all fun and games if you're doing vignettes and all that stuff that doesn't really matter in the ring. But <laughs> Ronnie thought it was a real child. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it was it was a real child, but it was a hologram of a real then child. Well, real. Give a shout out there. Of course, Ronnie Starks, as we mentioned, is hanging out there. Our friend Brandon from the Kansas City is out there in the chat, uh, as well as, uh, hey, cameraman Rob's hanging out. Dave Potter of Tiny Shutter Podcast. Uh, we're hanging out here on the Facebook. I know we're on a few other formats as well, but a lot of the chat is happening on Facebook. We do have, if you're joining us over on Twitch, on the IndieWrestling.us Twitch page, uh, I see a couple of you guys watching there. Please hop in the chat. We are paying attention to that now uh, as well. Uh, we, are we talking Tupac that, hologram? It was kind of Tupac it, hologram. It was pretty close, yeah. Yeah, it was. It was, it was I, just, I just want to throw this out there just to, as of midnight, Christmas is 99 days away. That's all I'm throwing out there. Uh, and that Sword. means Holiday ah. Smackdown three days after that. Oh, boy. What? No, we can't talk about Christmas yet. <laughs> <laughs> you're, giving, you're giving Mad Mike PTSD from you know his, his, his Toys R Us yes. days? Yes, you are. And it actually hurts a little bit. It actually hurt. Like right here, there's a little there's knot a, right on the vein. side of my I see, brain. I see a vein. Like through the. Yeah, exactly. Like I know we don't have like the best video quality of you on the yeah, webcam. I don't have 4K. But, like I can no no. no but uh. But yeah, it's just right there. <laughs> it's almost like the Homer Simpson stress <laughs> bump. You remember that? Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Yes, yes it bit, is. A little bit. Although there's a although we we should send you the 4K camera that Chilo used to you use. You know when you no because the thing is I like Christmas. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm the guy who the day after Halloween. Starts blasting Christmas music from his car. That's Why are we not best friends? My mom? Wait, what? this just went south. Yeah, no. Ronnie Stark said you go straight to hell. <laughs> I think that was directed towards me. You know me. what, Ronnie? Ronnie? <laughs> Ronnie? We're going to have we're going to have a talk, Ronnie. Uh, gonna... Ronnie says I went to went Toys R Us today. It was Spirit Halloween, but it was a toy it wasn't oh. a Toys R Us. So um and partner says yeah. holiday smackdown is on his birthday uh here in pittsburgh oh boy that's that's <laughs> not gonna be a fun show i don't think <laughs> and why, why are we talking with rob just bought his weezer green day tickets okay and that's 334 oh, that's, days away was, i thought we were just talking about things that were days away i don't know i don't mm -hmm. know where we're going i mean this. if that's the case then shit my wedding is 
Yeah, thanks for the invite. Me. While we're at it, well, to be, all right, he hasn't so, invited anybody yet. Yeah, we haven't even finished the save the dates yet. Mother Listen, he, he just got <laughs> I'm his, working yeah. on it. Yeah, is, is Big E going to save the date? I, if I can find a way to mail him an invite, I'm going to. Is he... <laughs> if I can find a way to send him an invite, I'm going to do it. You never know, man. I mean, there was. I don't oh, know. I still have to edit that wedding with McFoley. That's right. If they're in town that weekend, who yeah. the hell knows? Oh, you're reminding It'd me of a project. It'd be hilarious. It would be great. It would be great. I mean, you never know. Um, just have your wedding in Florida. Everybody shows up there. Hey, I watched. Um, no, I don't want to get into that. Maybe we'll get into that on Wednesday. Um, okay. Anyways, more more of tonight. Um, raw. Um, raw. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. So, I wrote a tweet earlier today while I was watching Raw. And Raw to me, like I, I, there were things I liked about it. There were things I didn't. Mm-hmm. Raw to me is, if you're coming home from a long day at work and you don't know what you want to eat, but you have a lot of leftovers in the fridge, and you just take a little bit from everything that's in the fridge and put it all on one plate. Garbage plate. And that's what you eat. Wait, Raw is a garbage plate? Some of it is going to be really good. Some of it is going to not reheat as well as you want it to because it's all on for the same amount of time. Hmm. You're based and some of it, and some of it you're going to forget you had in the fridge, but enjoy it. And at the same time, it's going to look very, very disjointed. Uh, so you're kind of saying that Raw was Forky from Toy Story Four. Trash, it's, but good trash. Yeah, a little. Bit. Well, I mean, no, it wasn't <laughs> trash. There, there were parts in it that were great. Oh yeah, and there were parts in it where. Mike Canellis is a fucking cuck. I, I'm sorry. I I was entertained. That derailed the show for me. Yeah, yeah. That that entire thing derailed the show. I'm not hating it, I man. I didn't hate that I'm either. I'm not. Everybody wants to say we want attitude era. I'm like that's the most attitude I era don't thing. I want attitude era. Attitude era fucking sucked. You know what I want? Stories. <laughs> By the way, Rob forgot that Dana what Brooke was in the, the reason uh, Mike, Mike, for Mike Rusev coming back. Mike as the father of Maria's child, and where the fuck is Lana besides every fashion show in the country? Lana's doing a thing right now, uh, but it, uh, I I don't know. I get it. Um, like if, if you're gonna if you're gonna have someone be Mar- the father of Maria's child, have it be Bobby Lashley. Have not? it be have it be Drew McIntyre. <laughs> someone who's not like storyline married. I do want Bobby Lashley to yeah. be the one now. I love how that was your first go to was Bobby Lashley. Yeah, where has he been? He's gone. Oh yeah, yeah. He's gone. Braun literally took him out. Huh. Well, no, no. He had he had the last man standing match with Braun. Yeah, and then he came back the next night. Squash Rey Mysterio. It's the last time we saw him. <laughs> by the, the way, I, 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 by the way, this um this this fridge analogy is really over with the chat room right now. Yeah. I um, know. First of all, Rob says that Dana Brooke was. She, short, I'm very funny. <laughs> I'm glad you're confident in yourself. Good. Rob <laughs> says that he forgot that Dana Brooke was in the fridge. Yep, mm-hmm. I did not. Mm-hmm. Dana Brooke no. has been tearing it. Up a main event. Get that main event feed. Yeah. I'll go watch. Ronnie Stark says, uh, it's like getting pizza at Chuck E. Cheese. They're 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 use old slices and toss everything together. See, this is why Ronnie is an amateur in the podcast field. He tried to take the exact analogy I made and he made it worse. Okay, okay. (laughs) Anyways, um, I I I get what you're saying, Ronnie. AOP. Oh yeah, that was awesome. What wait, you like that? Yes, that you was like a lot that? of reading. That was absolutely phenomenal. A lot of reading. Wow, it's really? The stuff. Okay, it's when Oscar cut promos in Japanese in, in NXT. Okay. Hey, you know what? If their English isn't that great, subtitle them. I don't give a fuck. I want to see those big hosses wrestle. I'm surprised they did it on Raw. I. I'm very excited. I feel I it's it's an interesting look and and it was kind of a like I felt like like this is a really good promo for like Ring of Honor. No, I 
they looked the most comfortable and confident I've ever seen them mm-hmm. behind a microphone. Mm-hmm. And that's all you need. That's all you need. Like they say one sentence in English and then talk the rest in their native language. That's fucking phenomenal to me. Um, they So... So Potter, uh, because Brandon's asking about the AOP promo, he says, really like the retelling. Um, They are like the bad guys in a Taken movie. Yes. And I'm entirely on board with that. (laughs) So anything that gets me to AOP versus Mm. the Viking Raiders versus the OC versus Heavy Machinery. Yeah, exactly. You just came three times. (laughs) And that's that's just from saying what the match is. See, uh, you can run that tape back. Y'all heard it. Uh, <laughs> Y'all heard it. This is true. Oh mm-hmm. Nick, how are you doing over there? I'm are you relaxed? Great. I'm doing great. I love this couch. <laughs> so comfortable right now. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, I. Okay. Uh, so I really like that, especially since we're coming off something like Rowan and Luke uh, mm-hmm. Harper coming back at the. Uh, yeah, Harper that's Bay. another team yeah. I'd like to see so. against. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, they both have their first names back now. Oh, yeah. good. Oh, Luke, good. Luke Harper and Eric Rowan have returned. By the okay, way, so what are they going as now? Who are they? Um, like, yeah, are they like the Bludgeon Brothers again? Nope. Or like, nah, they're just. I, I, I think they're Eric Rowan and Harper. Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. Yep. I think that's all they need to be, and yeah. and and they both will just expose us to um, uh, Viking metal bands that that we've never heard of before <laughs> but brian that watches the pay-per-view with us listens to viking menu uh viking menu viking menu ah mm. that, that's mm. where sarah logan goes for catering that's right that's who catered the wedding ronnie, <laughs> ronnie starts i came i saw i came again yep mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. yeah um i don't even know there was a point somewhere i don't know where it went no, we were talking about tag teams. Viking, uh, Viking, Viking metal. metal, Viking metal. Yeah, uh, yeah th- it's a very good discovery. You can start your uh, Rowan and Harper Viking metal station based on their T-shirts if you can station. read. Them. If you can read them. Um, <laughs> jeez. But um, the Mike and Ellis stuff needs, like, if it be one thing. If this was still a continuation from every week that they were doing it, mm-hmm. this just came completely out of nowhere for no other reason than to than to bring Rusev back with a terrible idea. I mean, they've still been doing it. I, I mean, I terrible idea, but great mustache. I'll tell you what, though, the thing that really got me after the Ricochet match was Renee Young saying that Mike Canellas just got beat up by his own baby daddy. Like, but but that. I'm sorry. That was that was that was comedy. Like just like one it's, half of the street profits claimed that he was the baby daddy, mm-hmm. or could have been. I no, no, I don't like it. There's a there's been a lot of like and all right. This is gonna take a turn. Oh, there's God. been a lot of like objectification of women mm-hmm. over the past month. No, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. Yeah, what, wait, what, what else? What are the Maria <laughs> stuff? What else is happening? Uh, Corey last Graves night. during every fucking women's match. And yeah. Renee Young commented on it last night. Yeah. Yeah, because he needs to shut the fuck up about it. Yeah, especially with like, like, really like the stuff in the news about him, right? Well, no, not even that. Just be a fucking person. He yeah. wasn't like this before. Mm-hmm. This is because of the change, and it's not good. It's like, unless you are a four-horse woman, you are like objectified completely yeah yeah and even even sometimes the four horsewomen get objectified because it's mostly like 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 it was it was alexa bliss and mandy rose Rose and and nikki cross being ridiculed for how she looks when Mm -hmm. out of the four like not that it matters but out of the four women in that match nikki cross is objectively the most attractive (laughs) okay Mm -hmm. yeah i like it but that shouldn't be a thing Anyway, no, yeah, we're, like, we're we're beyond the swimsuit, um, uh, the swimsuit and uh, uh, divas yeah, issues like, and now, those kinds of now, things. No, I'm not blaming Mandy Rose for it because it's in her character to do that. Right, but Mandy Rose should have also said the same thing to Alexa Bliss, mm-hmm. so she's an equal opportunity offender. 
mm-hmm. and not just singling out Nikki Cross because she's not blonde. Mm-hmm. Like, it's ve- there's a fine line that you have to walk when you deal with stuff like that. And sometimes WWE just uses a scissor on it. Yeah, that yeah. seems right. Like, because it just gets gross to watch and to listen to. I think, like, especially, like, out of that tag team match last night, actually, anybody in the whole women's division, I think the most relatable is Nikki Cross at the end of the day. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. But, that, but, gets... that's, but that's why they make fun of her. Like, mm. it was one hair away from being Piggy James for me, and that's not where you want to go. No. Yeah, and there was something else that popped up in the recent weeks that felt very Piggy James. Yeah. Um, like, the, 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 yeah, well, the, well, I think it was when they were calling out Nikki, actually. It was like the Iconics or somebody, right? Mm. Um, so... um, no, the Iconics that I recall did not insult Nikki's looks. Mm-hmm. I don't think they they insulted Nikki like her personality wise. Yeah, but that's stuff like that. That's fair game. That's what heels are supposed to do. Yeah. yeah. Who who did the slideshow of her? Of Nikki. Like Cross. there was like a slideshow of pictures of her. That's like either the I thought it was either Iconics or uh, Fire and um. It was Fire and Desire. Fire and Desire. It was Fire. And Desire. The Iconics haven't been on TV since they lost the belts. Yes, and wonderful display here in Pittsburgh. Oh God. Alyssa, if you're going to go out, go out with complete lack of style. Right. <laughs> I would argue that's Australian style. Oh, okay. I just watched, like, I was sitting there watching that match, and I was just like, wait, what the what the hell is going on here? Like, they're mm. throwing straight temper tantrums. Although, mm. although, that gave birth to the best meme in the world. Have you seen, um, <laughs> like, like, when they when they show Billy throwing her hands up, but they put it over trance music. Yeah, tra- no, I've seen, I've seen oh. the ones where it's over like metal. It's like oh, get metal, in the metal. mosh pit. Yeah. yeah. Can you send that to me? Yes. <laughs> oh, just so, just search the internet. Just 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 go on Twitter. It's yes. right on. Twitter. Oh like, man, oh, God, it's so good. It's so, so fucking good. Yeah. Like, are you trying to keep up with comments over there? Yeah, I'm trying to keep up with comments a little bit. I gave up. I'm trying to. This is this is this is what we do. I don't know why Ronnie's referencing in together, like. Oh, they were uh, they were talking about Backstreet Boys and stuff for a while there. They're talking about shirts. They're talking about instead of like metal bands, like Rob wants to have like completely like like super obvious and and um um like like new metal bands like well or like Eve Six and Fuel. uh, Oh (laughs) yeah, that'd be good. You know, and they're talking about like like, or like if Daniel Bryan just comes out with a Sixpence None the Richer shirt. Yeah. Somebody so, got that out there. Um, okay. I do like the instinct of Backstreet Boys shirts. Like, I think that's a good idea. Listen, I've had too much Backstreet Boys over the weekend. I mean, after I had... Or you can never have too much Backstreet I Boys. I had to hear Rev start a sing-along of Backstreet Boys after 2PW. Okay, on my way to Fight Society on Friday night, I'm caught in traffic, and I'm just like, okay, what am I going to do? I got my windows down. Mm-hmm. I played NSYNC. Mm-hmm. Blasted yep, it. And, what song? Uh, very important. Oh God, what was it? Very important. Uh, you will this, be judged. This, Hold on. This, yeah. Let me let me Our, go to my Spotify and I'll be right back with you guys. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Good. All Although right. my I, favorite thing about when a wrestling show ends and they just play Bye Bye Bye. No, that's just no, no. You can't do that. I mean, it, I like Bye that. Bye Bye. It's a, it's a fun song, but you know, no, 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 it was no, tearing up my heart. It's oh, my heart. all right. <laughs> Solid. Solid pick. And I was dancing. Uh, Solid. Backstreet's back, all right, in the chat. Mm-hmm. That's, um, that's what I've heard. <laughs> they're going on tour. They, they never stopped going on tour. I know, but they're my going fr- on tour again. One of my friends goes on a Backstreet Boy cruise every other year. That's like heaven. Can I do I that? I know. Yeah, you can get tickets. I've never been on a boat like that before. It's a, it's a Backstreet Boy cruise. You can you can meet the boys. The boys. Are they, yeah. men, are they considered as men? Is it Backstreet Men now? or is If it... Shawn Michaels is considered the Heartbreak Kid and Ric Flair is considered the Nature Boy, I think they're still Backstreet Boys. I mean, nat- Nature... I'm just not even going to say anything. He's, he's not Nature Man. No, Speaking of mans, uh, the <laughs> ladies um, had a thing tonight. Oh, um, good a segment. lot of chairs. We're going to have some a lot of chairs. We're going to have Helen in the They're all doing s- their best La Parca impressions. Y- yes, by the way, L.A. Park will be here in Pittsburgh here at uh, the end of October. Huh? It's a different guy. 
It's a different guy. No, it's the son of El- El- Parka, I believe. I know, but it's a different guy. I know it's a different guy. And I actually, I, is this the one that's having both of them? I might be confusing a different show, but they might be. Mm-hmm. Son of Parka. Son of La Parka. El Hijo del Parka. Yes, that guy. El Hijo del Silla. <laughs> son of the chair. I love, I love, I love your post. Oh, hey, there's um, Mike. Yeah, hi. I I made a I'm hi. <laughs> I made a comment tonight uh, during the Rey Mysterio match. I bet you could imagine what comment I made. Oh, um, why isn't Cesaro a multi-time? No, 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 not that one. That's one I ask every night before I go to sleep. Um, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Mysterio. Um, um, we all know the Ray, real Ray Mysterio is in a cage in uh, Boyle Heights. Yes. Um, to which uh, I still don't know how he got out. Nick uh, d- did not know what I was talking about. Oh boy! Oh boy! Um, I like Chris T. God, where right to now. start? Where to start? You had okay, to throw me on um, the bus like that, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Thanks. Appreciate you. Oh, sure. where where to start? Okay, so um, <laughs> about thirty five years ago in Mexico, <laughs> uh, it's gonna get good. That's how every Lucha <laughs> Underground storyline starts. Should I um, grab a blanket and a pillow and sit on the floor? Do you really just want to have a reason to stay on that couch? You I, like? I uh, oh God! <laughs> One of these days, I just want someone who's on this show instead of watching Raw for three hours, just watch. Three episodes of Lucha Underground. Hmm. Which oh, is, by oh, the way, oh, Al- Alex oh, is reminding oh. us that it is free on Tubi.tv right now. Also, Tubi.tv, I've been watching a lot of He-Man and She-Ra on lately. Excellent. I, The originals. I've been looking for something new to listen to while I am at work. That might be something I look into. Are you allowed to? Sure. Okay. Probably. I don't know. At we'll least. see. <laughs> We'll find out. I, I caught up on last week tonight today, so that was good. Oh, I need to do that. I'm like two yeah. weeks behind. Oh, I was I was behind. I'm like two, two weeks. I'm two weeks behind on last week tonight. I was like two months behind. Oh boy, that's yeah. okay. Uh, what's Spanish for identical twin of Mysterio? That would be Dominique. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Dominique is actually Spanish for identical twin of Walter. Oh, jeez. No, seriously, like we all thought Dominic was Eddie's kid. I think it's Walter's kid. Jeez. Look at those motherfckers side by side. By the way, can we? Well, well, things were weird. We did get a reference oh, to. A, we have Dominic Bielio the Walter. We did get a reference to a baby on the pole match tonight on commentary. We I, also got a Marie on a pole match, and then we found out that's how she got pregnant. Yeah, <laughs> what I'm talking about. That's not. Good. No, it's not great, but it's kind of like, oh, we're doing this. Okay. <laughs> like, okay, they need to clean that part up a little bit. Maybe, maybe. But like, I think just... somebody, somebody got a little talking to from standards and practices on that one. Okay, isn't uh, Bischoff's running Raw, right? No, 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 uh, no. Bischoff's supposed to be doing SmackDown. And it's Heyman think, doing I don't think, Raw. I don't think Bischoff's really. I kind of, I, I feel like I would have expected that coming listen, from Bischoff. Though. Listen, it, no, 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 no. I, can, I think it's gonna be a Heyman thing too. I think it's just a Corey thing. Um, have you had a conversation with <laughs> Listen, have you had a conversation with his brother? Uh, so I've, I've heard several. I haven't had any. But. No, no. Yeah, we like you, you, I, you did. I don't, I don't. I don't think that would gel well if I was on that show with him. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that would go. Oh, away. you weren't on that week. That's right. I was not on that week. I don't think that would go away that we could air. No. <laughs> uh, well, you know, uh, he is a very dis- divisive. In, uh, uh, in, it's definitely a way of looking at it. <laughs> I'm, I'm worried about who Ronnie's talking about, but um, anyways, um, no, oh, he just said Maria on the disco stick. Yeah, we, yeah, Ronnie, this is why you're a novice at podcasting. You uh, see, he, sound, he sounds like us when we were when we started podcasting. What was we're, the first thing I said on the first podcast? We saw Lita's hit. <laughs> yeah, that was the first thing I said on this podcast on the first episode. Starting off hot. Yes. <laughs> Yes, that make it somehow. work somehow. You hit somehow. Still not feeling that that female quotient on this show. <laughs> Fourteen years I later, why? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, hey, let's wrap it up. Programming note: Again, we are going to be on Wednesday night um, with all of Ronnie's bling after NXT. Uh, so we're going to see how that first live NXT goes and have some 
thoughts on that. Uh, Mad Mike will be here with us on that. So, um, All right. Hold on. Should we have predictions for that first show? I haven't caught up. I'm like a episode and behind back on uh, NXT. I'll, I'll tell you what's going to be on. Okay. Uh, the, the three announced matches. Oh, I mean, yeah. Okay. They've announced stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We can make predictions. Okay. Um, Velveteen Dream versus Roderick Strong for the North American title. Roderick gets his. Yep. I predict dripping in gold. Shenanigan, dripping. Shenanigans. Dripping. No, I, I predict clean. No. I, and by clean, I mean undisputed error or clean, which means all of them interfere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cleanly undisputed error. Yeah. Undisputedly clean. All of them interfere and they're dripping in gold. Um, you have the fatal four way number one contenders match. Mm hmm. With uh, Bianca Blair, Belair, uh, Candice LeRae, Io Shirai, and Mia Yim, which wow. is going to be hot fire. Man, I'm going, um, jeez. Uh-huh. Jeez. It's going to be hot fire. <laughs> oh, no, John. There is no more going to the main roster from NXT. No, no. NXT is the main roster now it is it is uh, it's, it's, truly it, it's live on usa yeah it, it's the main roster it's okay, just another roster are they yep. going to involve them into the into the draft though oh that's an excellent question i i don't know i hope not. i, I yeah. really hope not to no, i want i want people to go from raw and smackdown to nxt yeah that's yeah. what i want because i want cesaro to go back um, to nxt I want Kevin Owens to go back to NXT. I think we're seeing. I think we're seeing Kevin Owens may just show up. I think we're going to get a return yeah. from Chapa. I'm sure. He, oh yeah. Because uh, I, I, I have a feeling Rhea Ripley is going to throw a monkey wrench into that fatal four way match. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because Rhea Ripley. Mm hmm. It's going to Rhea Ripley. Maybe she just says, uh, "F this. I, um, I'm in this too." I. Sorg. Sork, have you been reading my diary? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that because you are on Live Journal and and mm -hmm. that's public. That's true, and oh, it's right. in my bookmarks. Shit, I should really take down some of those posts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, yeah, uh, that wave um, in, wave in with candy. Listen, that iconic fan fiction is a little it's... Corey Gravesy. Sorry, do you remember who my blog was actually white van with candy dot blocks it was <laughs> wait one more time <laughs> this was like what 10 years ago yeah white van with candy dot blogspot dot com oh, and we said that guy needs to be on this podcast uh -huh. actually him. if it's still up i actually have a very scathing review of patty mayonnaise from the doug cartoon <laughs> That I'm sure is still up there. Patty Mayonnaise was bullshit. Yes, she was. She was. She was a terrible person. Oh, jeez. She was a terrible person. Um, there's going to be some other stuff going on with, <laughs> of some sort. Uh, no interview scheduled for Indie Mayhem show, uh, but I do encourage you to check out our PWA 500 special with Lee Moriarty and PB Smooth before their match at Rise Wrestling that weekend, which is now available on IndieWrestling.network, Pro Prospect Pro Wrestling from Saturday night, where, Mike, it was a spin the wheel, make the deal night. Their Coal Miner's Glove match. No, they did not pull what the, the Coal Miner's Glove, no. We had a blindfold match, an aerial assault match, in which... It, it, which involved Johnny Patch and Super Hentai. The ceiling, Super Hentai, who is um, not very tall, uh, could not stand on the top rope, but we had an aerial assault match. Okay. Yes. It, 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 it worked out did, fine. Did they assault people with things written in aerial font? Oh. <laughs> or did they throw a little that mermaid? Is interpretation. Prop? There was they an throw little mermaid somebody, props to each other. Somebody went to calligraphy camp. No, I, I. If you've seen my handwriting, you know wait, I. Have wait, are you are you just scooching Legos into the frame over there? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to show <laughs> what you. Is, the what is here. happening? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I forgot. We usually open the show with a Lego update. Mm -hmm. It's no. the Great Hall. So. And look, the staircases move. <laughs> yeah i don't know why that's i'm amazing. so excited about that that's like better it, than any place that i've ever had and i have damn ninja turtle sewer system so did i it's this, and, look, and look hagrid's hagrid's got the boat 
with all the little first years on oh, it. Look at him going Aww. hanging out. Look at those it's guys. Great. Look it's at great. those guys just hanging out right there. It's great. We'll just look it's at it. That's fantastic. Yeah. Just look at it. Just, just look at it. <laughs> look at it, guys. Yeah. yeah. So I, I was, I was oh, trying to work. Look at that. It's having a good like, time. Because I usually open with the Lego update, but we're doing the, the Stranger Things gimmick, so. Yeah. <laughs> what gimmick? What are you talking about? No, you know the gimmick. Nothing happened. Nothing I happened. Still, I still want to know where Will is. I heard big things are happening. Rob was <laughs> hoping for eight Coal Miners Club matches. Uh, no, they had that. They had a five k on five thousand dollars on a uh, pole match, a submission match, a blindfold match, when, in which I was almost accosted by a blind uh, Italian. Um, yeah, it Not was. Italiana. Yeah, it was Mambo. He was blindfolded, yep. and he thought he chased he chased me mm-hmm. around the ring. It was scary. Okay. It was very scary. Um, that clip is actually available over on the Indie Wrestling US YouTube and Facebook page. Um, look for the blindfold match over there. And uh, <laughs> what? Uh, Rob says in the chat room, "I had the GI Joe aircraft carrier, greatest place that ever. If you don't mind every adventure being at." <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, I did have the greatest place I'd ever when I was a kid, though. Hmm. The Technodrome. Oh, but hey, the Technodrome with the rolling eye. Did they have like a big one, like a big uh, one out there? Because I remember like the like the this tall one that was like two figures high for a while. No, it was it was fairly big. There it was, was like a, there was... big, and they had the eye on the top that when you uh, pressed it. The little there was a little scoop that came down. The eyeball rolled out at the throat. What? Which was, which was something that never happened on the oh, show. Oh, I'm looking at that. I'm looking that up. Techno drone toy. One of, one of my biggest sort. One of my biggest life regrets before leaving Toys R Us was that I did not buy the Lego Techno drone. Jeez. Oh, it wasn't Lego brand, so. Oh, it was a Mega Blocks or something. Yeah, it was Mega Bloks, and Mega Bloks is a piece of shit. I but... miss Toys R Us. Eh, it was a pretty. It's coming back in some form or fashion. So I don't have to grow up. I'm still a Toys R Us. It's a kid. Toys R Us kiosk. There's a million toys at the Toys R Us that you can play with. You know, from bikes, from bikes to trains to video games. It's the biggest toy store there was. Gee whiz. I don't want to grow up, because if I did, I couldn't be a Toys R Us kid. From bikes to games. Oh, no, bikes I'm sorry. Trains. I'm I'm My busy. Bad. I'm busy uh, checking out this uh, Technodrome video. I don't think it's the big, big one. Uh, maybe it is. Oh, it, it was. It was like, yeah, it was pretty big. It was like. I mean, it was like. Right, I was also a lot shorter, but. <laughs> 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 it was definitely. It was definitely a lot larger than the sewer playset. Yeah, yeah. I, I also had the the turtle blimp. Oh, I I slept with that thing. All right. Scared what? the shit out of my mom. What? You slept with the blimp? Yeah, I crawled up on my toy box in the middle of the night because the blimp was inflated. I used the blimp as a pillow. My mom came in to check on me. I wasn't in my bed. She didn't know where I was. <laughs> she was running around screaming. She's like, "Michael, where are you?" <laughs> and I was like, "What?" You She's found like, that white van with candy, didn't you? No, I was sleeping with the turtle blimp. Guys, it's been fun. Mad Mike four eighty three of the Twitter. Let me in. I don't know what that was. Okay. All okay. right. Hold on. Hold on. That's where we go. Copy. <laughs> oh no! There it goes. Oh, he's dizzy. There he's dizzy again. Oh. Uh, also, update down Nick Farah. That one guy from Pittsburgh. That one guy from Pittsburgh is on the getting Instagram. dizzy. Wait! 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 Oh. Uh, yeah, we wowie. Yeah. Touch fuzzy. Touch fuzzy get Disney. Sorry, audio listeners. We'll see you guys next time. Sorgatron on the Twitter. Check out everything at sorgatronmedia.com. A lot of great stuff. If you like Dungeons and Dragons and our friends at Bardic Mystery Ta- uh, Mystery Tales. <laughs> you can do it, Sorg. Damn it. Uh, our friends at Thrifty Podcast, our friends at Bullet Sports Pittsburgh, and so much more. We will see you guys next time, Wednesday night, after NXT here on the feeds. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.